Hey guys, it's Jana, and today we're just jumping right into it. We are getting the big front room all packed up. We actually sold off the pool table, so it's not even in here anymore. So I had hubby go through a lot of his stuff in here. It's all mostly his stuff, and he decided what to keep, what not to keep. So I'm just getting it all packed up and put away so that we can work on this room and patch any holes and all of that good stuff. Get it ready for the move. So be sure to hit subscribe, thumbs up, check all the links down below. Let's get this front room totally ready to rock. we already took everything off the walls. I don't know. We were just feeling it this morning. I was still in my jams. He was still in his jams and we just started working on this. So I just threw the camera on after we got ourselves dressed and now we're just going to get it all done. So all of these frames were up on the wall. I don't know if you remember, but I took all the pictures out and I'm just going to donate these frames. Um, we're just going to go for like a whole new look at the new house. So I'll just donate these. So this box is for donate and that other box is for keeps. So of course there's a lot of nails and nail holes from all the frames. So we're gonna go around all the walls and pull the nails out and patch all the holes. So my recommendation when you're doing this is to take your nails out and then put the patch in like as you go. Otherwise you're just gonna forget where the nails were and you're gonna miss one or two or 10 holes. So just do it wall by wall and get it done. And be sure to sand down your little holes because the drywall does pop out just a little bit every time you do a little nail hole so you want it to be nice and smooth I like just using my finger I feel like I have kind of more control over it when I'm patching and I just wipe the excess off with my hand no big deal I'll just wash my hands later So we will be painting this wall and all the other walls. The gray again, we're just going to touch it up and paint that black all gray, but we just haven't bought the paint yet. So that will be happening.
a little bit more packing here. We don't have too much stuff in here, at least that we want to keep. So I still have some newspapers from the neighbors. That was so awesome. And then we still got more boxes from our friend that already moved. So plenty of supplies here. I just got to get it all wrapped up. These are all things that we obviously do not need until after we move. We technically don't need them there either. They're just decorative. So we're just gonna get them out of the way for now. And of course, I like to go to every window, room by room, and get the blinds all wiped down, the window sills, and everything. I'm gonna go around the whole room and wipe down the floorboards. Nothing special, just a wet rag. Just scrub any yucky spots. It's not too bad because I actually try to keep up with it, especially downstairs. And I want to clean my door really good. All those little nooks and crannies, it does collect dust. You don't notice it too much unless you're really looking at it, but you definitely notice when it's clean. And it's gonna look so much better. Ugh, those blinds were so gross. So the window here had some goo, I guess, left from a Halloween decoration. I don't know if you guys remember, but like those bloody hands or whatever. And then we also had, I don't know, some words or whatever that was that goo that goes on the window. And yeah, I don't know, maybe it was a little bit hot this Halloween and it kind of melted to the window and I just left it. I closed the blinds and I left it. Oh well, I'm cleaning it off now. It's all fine, it's fine. too short to put the valance back on so I asked Tubby to come over and help me and of course he was able to. I didn't realize he would need a ladder too. I could have done that. And while I was cleaning the edges of the carpet and the floorboards, Hubby took care of the ceiling fans for me so that was super awesome. We're almost getting this done guys. Oh, 
Oh, I love those vacuum lines. We just got to vacuum up this room really good. And I think that'll be as much as we can do now before we get paint. vacuum died I totally forgot to charge it since it's last use so it didn't really have that much of juice in there so we're gonna have to get our corded vacuum out once again oh well it's still a good vacuum but man wrestling these cords is a little bit different I am too spoiled now guys everything looks great the blinds are scrubbed up all the dirt is gone the door looks great the fans are totally dust free oh the whole place looks ready to paint it looks great nothing else is in here other than the big dog crate so I hope this motivated you to clean up one of your big old rooms thank you so much for watching go ahead and hit subscribe thumbs up check all the links down below be sure to check out those videos I picked out just for you and I will see you next time.